The H175M being a contender for the new requirements, what's good about it? Okay. So it's an excellent proven civil model. Um, it's the perfect, let's say, replacement for the, our current fleet of Pumas that have been, uh, let's say, identified for retirement in the period between now and 2025. And, uh, and let's say, and I think it's something that can be delivered into the UK military to reduce the capability gap and just take that performance level that they currently have in medium lift to the next level for the future. Now, there's a lot of talk about what's the advantage for the UK for this development and how will that work exporting as well. Tell us about that. Okay. So, I mean, Airbus and the, with the UK government, I mean, we're strategic partners. Airbus has a massive manufacturing footprint, massive contribution to the UK. You know, six billion of turnover, 12,000 jobs, 110,000 jobs in the supply chain. So, uh, and a proven track record in export. So, uh, it's a real opportunity for us to revolutionize the helicopter market in the UK and set it up with a very, very strong base. You know, um, taking up not just the military, let's say the UK military's future requirement, but also the, the worldwide export market needs and to you know, strengthen the UK's defence industry, particularly the helicopter industry, and, uh, and put us on a good stead for you know, the European helicopter industry going into the future. So in terms of manufacturing, where would you expect to see this happening? So the jewel in the crown for Airbus in the UK in terms of manufacturing is our site in Broughton. It produces all of the Airbus wings and, and landing gears for all Airbus, let's say, commercial jets worldwide. And we'll be looking to take all of that you know, innovative uh, aerospace production capabilities and put that into the, the helicopter domain to make the product a very, very compelling, not just for the UK, but also for the export market. And you talked about the potential for the export market. What will it actually mean in real terms for jobs, for employment and for prosperity? So, you know, Airbus's track record is basically for every Airbus job we create, we create 10 in the supply chain. So we're really talking at the moment about hundreds of Airbus jobs you know, in the, you know, the Broughton so facility. And then of course, local and national supply chain, we're talking about thousands.